hey guys it's Alyssa marie here welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog this is going to be another kind of day in the life but it's going to be like a regular day in the life at home on a busyish kind of day i'm going to show you guys my dog mom life show you my influencer life and kind of give a couple of my life updates so i'm just really going to be taking you guys along with me for the day and i hope you enjoy so i just woke up what time is it, it is about 8 45 it's a little bit later than i usually wake up my alarm goes off at 8 i usually lay down for about 10 minutes and then i'm up and Adam. Right now, I have my boss waiting on me to take her for walkies. Right, Hershey? <laughs> We're supposed to be going for walkies, right? So that is how I start my day. It's Hershey first, okay? She got to go for her walkies. She got pee pee poo poo outside. And then I can actually focus on me. So let's go ahead and take Hershey for walkies. It's a bright and beautiful sunny day. I actually love walkies with Hirsch because, girl, where are you going? Because I get some nice, fresh morning air. Hershey does what she needs to do, you know? It's kind of like a peaceful start to my morning. It forces me to start my days by getting up and out. So, I really enjoy it. Good girl, Hershey. Look at me. She doesn't like the camera. <laughs> good girl. Who's a good girl, huh? So ever since Hershey was just a little baby, she used to kind of have some trouble going number two outside. So now every single time she goes number two, she gets a treat. It's just something that we've done ever since she was a puppy. So I'm actually giving her one of her favorites. I give her one of these in the morning, which is her greenies. This is for dental care this big old thing she absolutely loves it who's a good girl who's a good girl mama good job another thing I've trained her to do good girl is to eat in her bed good baby this is actually a bed I picked up from Chewy and if I can find it online I will link all of the details on everything I mentioned in this video in the description box below Actually, I don't know if I've actually told you guys the story of Hershey. I have on Instagram, but not here on YouTube. So Hershey is actually a rescue dog. She showed up at my parents' house in Cayman Islands, and she was just a little teeny little thing, and she was scared and barking, and she was just hiding behind our little AC thing. And as soon as I saw her, I like melted completely. I picked her up, took her straight to the vet. Poor thing, she was so weak and hungry. She had sores around her eyes and her nose from the mosquitoes outside and everything. And yeah, fixed her up right at the vet, got her some food. And ever since then, she has been my baby. She's literally like a member of the family. Like if you have pets, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, this is Hershey's little morning routine. She is all good. Oh, actually one more thing that she gets are vitamins. So these are two vitamins that she gets every single day. So this one is for skin and coat because she did have some allergy issues when she moved over here in the springtime. And then these are bladder bites because she does suffer from getting bladder infections from time to time. She does have a hooded vulva, which can kind of cause that. So I'm, I don't want to get her surgery. So this is me trying to be really conservative and see if these vitamins really help. And honestly, so far they've been really helping a lot. So I'll usually go ahead and give her two of these now in the morning. And then I just like to kind of space it out. So I give this to her later on in the afternoon. Good girl. Oh, she's being good today. <laughs> Good girl, mama. Good job. All right, so now that Miss Hershey is all 100% sorted out, it's now time for me to work out. I was doing good about a month or two ago. I was working out every single day, and I'm now just recently deciding to get back into it. So that's what we're doing today. And today, I put on my cutest workout outfit for you. This is actually a two-piece set by Old Navy, okay? Don't sleep on the Old Navy workout gear we got this cute little design in the back i love it i'm also going to be using my new favorite natural deodorant i have shared this with you guys on instagram but i'm trying to share a little bit more with y'all here on youtube as well so this is the kosas 
Serene Clean Chemistry AHA Serum Deodorant. It sounds really complicated, but it's a really good deodorant. It's one of those roll-on ones, but it's the best natural deodorant that I've used, hands down. So if you're into natural deodorant, I definitely recommend this because not only does it keep you smelling nice and helps a little bit with sweat as well, it also helps to brighten the look of your underarms over time and it also kind of exfoliates as well. So it's really, really good. Hi, baby. Hi. Yes, mama. Yes, mama. Okay, so this is the Fit On app. This is what I use to work out at home. I love this app, okay? You can literally go through, so let's hit browse. You can go through, there's so many different things. Quick hits, toning, strength, Pilates, low impact, dance, circuits. They even have like a whole section for like yoga and stretching and stuff. I just love it so, so much. So let me show you all my favorites. When you go to program, you can favorite the workouts that you actually enjoy. So one of my favorite trainers on here, his name is Kenta, and I absolutely love him. I'm going to do his leg day workout. Boom! So I will also include all the details for this as well in the description box below, including a link where if you want to join me on the Fit On app, we can be friends and you can see my after workout photos on here. Let me show you. Like every time you finish a workout, you can take some photos so and then we can cheer each other on and all that fun stuff so like i said that will be in the description box below but let's go ahead and get this workout started all right let's do this kenta here and today we're gonna be hey kenta Actually, my favorite part about working out I love making protein shakes so this is basically my breakfast every single morning even sometimes when I'm not working out because it's just so good I'm not really a breakfast person so to be able to have a shake when I don't really feel like eating that makes me full and it's like a actual meal replacement like it's perfect for me all right so first we start with some ice then we go in with a little bit of almond milk I just I prefer almond milk over regular milk. That's just me. I love the Almond Breeze Original. It's my fave. Pour that in there. And then next, I'm grabbing my protein powder. I much prefer vegan proteins. I will say that I'm very picky though because it needs to still taste really good for me to actually drink it. This is my ultimate favorite. I will never be going to a different protein ever. So this is the Orgain Organic Protein. It's plant-based, so it is 100% vegan. So I have the vanilla flavor because I usually like to add my peanut butter and then maybe some chocolate chips if I'm feeling a little fancy myself. So it just comes with a little scoopy thing in there. Usually you're supposed to put two scoops in there. If I'm doing this, if I'm making this shake when I'm not working out, I just use one scoop but because i did work out and i have been working out i'm gonna go ahead and do the full two scoops then i go in with some oats these are just the regular old-fashioned oats that you can pick up from publix this is really what gives it that body and makes it an actual meal replacement this will make you feel a lot more full and will last you for a few hours for sure and we gotta go in with some peanut butter i just bought this new like organic peanut butter the brand is called crazy richards you can see it's really kind of oily at the top so i need to go ahead and mix that up a little bit so the reason why i do end up preferring organic peanut butters is because i just find the regular like schmucks peanut butter whatever they're called is that jelly i don't know but the regular, like the other peanut butters, they are so sweet. Like, so sweet. And I have a sweet tooth. So, for me to say that is kind of crazy. So, I really prefer these because they're not as crazy sweet, but they still give that really nice peanut buttery flavor. My least favorite part is having to mix these up. This has clearly been sitting in the supermarket for a while. And then the last thing I like to add are some semi-sweet chocolate chips just for a little razzle-dazzle. Literally, like, just this little handful right here. I mean, even that is kind of a lot, but I'm feeling for some chocolate today. 
All right, and then that's it. All we gotta do now is blend. Here is my brows. So you know that sore feeling that you get after working out and stuff, it really helps to not just like prevent that, but help your muscles like repair and build back even quicker. So making sure that you're feeding your body and feeding your muscles is like super important when you're working out. So I gotta go ahead and take a shower and then I gotta get some work done today. All right, so I'm back from my shower, nice and fresh and clean, but I'm not gonna go ahead and get cute for the day just yet. I actually kind of like to sit down, read some emails, go through my to-do list, look through my content planning. I like to just sit down and get all of that stuff in my head first, a little bit more organized, so I know exactly what I need to do today and also for the rest of the week. So the day that I'm filming this right now, actually, I forgot to say this is Tuesday, Right now, it's about, what time is it? Whew, 11.18, so I'm kind of getting started a little bit late, but no big deal. I usually work until pretty late in the night, which is kind of a bad habit of mine anyways, but yeah, so that is what I'm gonna do now. Let me actually show you my office really quick because this is very much a current work in progress. So this is what the space looks like right now. We got this cute little mini couch that can flatten out into a bed when I have guests and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's literally a blank room and I'm currently actually now trying to focus on it because I've focused a lot on my studio. That was really my priority. So now I have some more time to get into this office. So this desk I actually got from Ikea, a really, really nice desk. If you're interested, I will link it below, but Something's got to happen on this wall. I want like a whole nice accent wall. I might either paint it or do some nice like framed art or something on there. So we'll see how that happens. If you guys are interested in seeing a video kind of dedicated to bringing my office from this to something amazing, like I really want a place where I can feel like super proud of it. If you'd be interested in seeing that, then let me know in the comments below and I will get to filming from now all the way up until it's fully finished so you guys can see the whole entire process. So yeah, this is my little working from home space. I need to go ahead and get some work done now. So I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time on the computer getting my thoughts and my week kind of organized and get my content schedule all planned out and all that. Like this is a really big part of me getting myself organized as an entrepreneur and like an influencer who manages her own things. Like this is super, super important. Hi Hershey! And then Hershey comes along just to distract me. Hello! Yes! Yes! Oh, so you guys, you know what I should show you? Let me show you my latest blog post, okay? So I did show this on Instagram, but y'all know I like to give you a little bit of extra detail on here too. So this is my Sephora favorites page. So as a Sephora squad member, I thought that I would, I will constantly be talking about Sephora products. So I thought it would be really nice to have one place where all of my favorite Sephora products are. So you can always refer back here to look at what I'm loving. So basically how it works is I have a section for hair, I have a section for makeup, and I have a section for skincare. I'm being very, very selective with this list, so I'm only literally putting things in here that I would spend money on myself, and like I have to genuinely actually really, really love the product in order to, for it to be on this list. So I'm really excited about it, and the best part is you can shop directly from this page. So if you just click on the picture right here, you just gotta wait for it to load, boom. It will take you right to the Sephora page where you can go ahead and shop. Now, because I am a Sephora squad member, I do, like these are affiliate links, so it will help your girl out. I do receive a little teeny commission if you do purchase using my links, but this is at no cost to you at all. So if you guys 
want to shop what I'm loving and want to support me, then this is a really great way to do so. So I'm really excited about this. I will include the link to this blog in the description box below. This is also something that you can access very easily from my Instagram as well. And yeah, it's going to be great. I'm going to keep building on this list as I use more and more products. So you can continue referring back here to always see the latest on what I'm using and what I'm loving. I also included like a little description with each product. So I say like what I love about it. I tell you if it's like actual holy grail. Like I mean y'all here on YouTube have heard me talk about this hair perfector all the time. This thing is the truth. Serious. So yeah i'm really excited about this and i hope you guys love it again it's in the description box so go ahead and check it out so if you didn't know i had a blog now you know i got a whole website for you guys to check out actually so check it out i work really hard on these kind of things i think what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna film for sunday's video as y'all know i post every thursday and sunday to youtube so this video that i'm talking to you about right now is being filmed today here tuesday to be put out on youtube on thursday what i'm also planning on doing today is filming my sunday video which i like my sunday videos to just always be about hair i usually leave my thursday videos to be up in the air fashion lifestyle vlog whatever dog stuff so yeah i'll leave that pretty open but for sundays i like my strict kind of hair video so you guys can always expect that from me no matter what but yeah so today i was thinking about filming a video about me doing a twist out for the first time y'all know i'm a wash and go girl for life that is my favorite that is my go-to but yeah i've never done a twist out and i just it's been in the back of my mind like maybe you should try it so i think that's actually what i'm gonna film today all right so content is organized i've checked all my emails i have an idea of what the rest of this week is kind of gonna look like so now we gotta go ahead and get ready to create some content all right so the first thing you gotta do when you're getting ready to film is make sure that you get your whole everything set up so that's what i'm working on now this is my filming camera girl no these are the little barks that i will usually have to edit out but because it's a vlog i'll just leave that in here but anyways um so this is my canon 80d for most of my hair videos this is what i'm using but yeah so now i'm just gonna go ahead and set up for filming this twist out just texted me to let me know that I did get the approval on my Sephora squad content and that now I, I got to go ahead to film and that's gonna be due on Friday in the morning on Friday so it's not like I have Friday that I can work on it it's due 9 a.m. Friday which means with me being me I send that in the night before so Thursday night so to me it's due Thursday night which means I actually need to film tomorrow I need to film tomorrow which is Wednesday so I have a full day to film and then full day on Thursday to edit, sort out what I need to sort out and then submit it for approval. And with this being the type of video that it is, like I don't think that like, I think this twist out video is gonna have to be filmed later on in the week. And I'm actually gonna have to go ahead and film the Sephora Squad video. Okay, so now you guys can see how quickly things can kind of change. This is why I kind of had I kind of had this Sephora Squad video in the back of my head because I knew like hold on my mom's downstairs so you can kind of hear her a little bit but yeah I kind of had it in the back of my mind because I'm like I know I need to film it it's gonna be due next week so not due but it's gonna have to go live next week so I knew it would be due for approval sometime this week and yeah so now I got so now I got that oh my gosh I'm a little nervous this is my first. Sephora campaign. Yeah, so the actual approval email hasn't gotten in yet. So what I'm gonna do is in the meantime, I'm gonna get my face a little bit ready. I can't exactly, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you guys exactly what this video is about. What I will say is that it's hair specific and it's all about a wash day 
but it's not like a whole wash day it's like a specific part of the wash day that we're really focusing on and i'm showing you some of my like honest to god favorite products ever so i'm actually really excited as nervous as i am i am really excited as well so it's gonna be good um so in terms of my makeup i'm just gonna be doing something very simple so i want to obviously you know kind of color correct these spots get rid of these um but i really want it to be very very simple because we're just going to be focusing on the hair today so probably no eyeshadow nothing like that i'll put my brows on something very lightweight simple and fresh looking and that's it so we're not really we're not really glamming out we're just kind of you know improving upon what we already got here okay Alright, so this is the final look, just super simple, natural looking, a little bit of dew coming through, and that's it. This is how I like to do my wash and go skin. Love it. My hair on the other hand looks crazy, but that is going to be done in the actual video, so I'm really excited. We are about to do my first Sephora Squad campaign, and y'all are about to see all the action. I'm so mad because I want to film, but literally, look at all the work that's going on Ooh, outside. They are digging up the place. It's Comcast, so I guess they're just adding whatever. But do you hear all that noise? And the bathroom that I'm filming in is right here. <laughs> Tell them, Hirsch. Tell them to go away good girl uh, I'm so mad I hate like getting ready to film and then I have to wait so but I'm not just gonna sit down here and like waste this time I need to look at other content and edit and do stuff so you need to eat your bladder bite good girl these are her other vitamins good job you being so good Okay, so right now I'm reviewing my concept. There are definitely Instagram photos that need to be taken. Obviously, those will have to be taken after the video once my hair is already done and dry and stuff. Um, also, I need to do IG stories, same thing, but there are some product shots that I need to take. So I can take the product shots now. So I'm gonna take advantage of my time. I hate wasted time. And then I also took some content yesterday while I was out on the road. So what I will do is also draft some content today for Instagram and then also post to stories and all of that good stuff so just to make use of the time but they better not use up all my daylight okay so for the content that i took yesterday i took it on my big bad boy camera so let me show you uh, boom so these are just a couple shots we took outside in a cute little all black outfit or whatever so the reason why I really love this camera is because it can send it directly to my phone without any wires or anything like that. So we just turn on the Wi-Fi function. Okay, and then I go on my phone now and connect my phone to the Wi-Fi on my camera. Okay, and then we go into the Canon app and download the photos right from there. See, 200 photos I took yesterday and that's for two days worth of content. So I like to do original size and then boom, one out of 200 sent and it's just gonna take its time and send these large photos. So then while that's doing that, I can now set up cute little spot for these product shots that I need to get. So let me grab the two products. Yeah, ooh, I have an idea actually. I think what I'm gonna do is put them down on the counter and actually kind of flood my counter with water and have them like sitting in a puddle of water with water splashed on them. And oh my gosh, they look like, boom, they were just used, it gives moisture and hydration vibes, wash day vibes, it gives all the vibes. Okay, so yeah, I figured out what I'm gonna do for my products. So, 
those are ready now i just need to wait for the other camera to be finished sending all of the content over to my phone oh we're just at 25 out of out of 208 so <sighs> we still got some time i hate this because i'm so anxious for this video and i'm so ready to get it done i'm so excited and then now I can't because of things beyond my control. It's annoying. <sighs> yeah, right now it's a waiting game. I hate waiting. I hate waiting. I hate waiting. Okay, so while we're waiting for these workmen to hurry up and pass the house, we are going to go ahead and make some lunch. I think it's a good time. I'm actually being really good today and remembering to eat lunch. Most days, I'm just so into work that I kind of skip lunch. That has actually kind of been one of my goals is to remember to eat lunch and to eat better. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my all-time favorite recipe. Oh my gosh, the lights are really yellow in here. It's a little different. Here we are. Yeah, so I'm making my favorite zucchini and shrimp recipe. So good. So easy. You know what? I think I'll also include details on my blog. So I'm going to show it to y'all. You can decide if you like it. If you really want the full details on how you can make it yourself, I will include those details on the blog. So that will also be linked below in the description box. We got lots of links in there today. But anyways, showing y'all all the deets. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab my shrimp and thaw it out. I'm trying to also figure out whether or not I'm going to eat this with pasta or should I eat it with rice. I am going to make enough to last me a couple of days. That's usually how I cook. I don't like to just make one meal at a time. All right. And then we'll just leave this over here on the side to sit and thaw out. All right, so I decided to go with rice. So we got that cooking here, and I have also taken the tails off of the shrimp here. So now we're gonna move on to prepping our vegetables. So we got two zucchinis here, one nice tomato, and then some garlic. I have five garlics here. Garlic is like the most important part of this entire recipe, okay? It's meant to be a garlicky, heavenly dish. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and slice up my zucchini and tomato. All right, so the tomato is all done, so I'm just gonna kinda put that to the side here, and now I'm just gonna peel my garlic pieces. So we have our zucchini, we have our tomato, we got our pieces of garlic, a little bit of butter, our seasoned shrimp, then on the side here I have some cooking white wine, I have some crushed red pepper, and then we got some olive oil and some cream cheese, the whipped kind. Final look. I'm so hype, y'all. This is literally my favorite recipe ever. It's actually pretty healthy and pretty filling as well. Mmm. So good. So good. So I'm literally gonna go have my lunch, my little lunch break, and then I will be back, hopefully, for us to film if those workmen are finished. I'm officially not gonna be able to film today. There is still a ton of noise outside, and they are right. Smack dab, right out front, right by my bathroom where I need to film the videos. It's just not gonna work. At this point, it's kind of just like, it is what it is. So I still wanna show you guys the behind the scenes action. It's my first of four squad campaign. I think it'd be something really cool to see. So I'm still gonna go ahead and show you guys behind the scenes. Obviously. All right, it is the next day and it is a lot more silent today. I'm really happy. And I'm really excited to go ahead and film my first of our squad campaign. So this is what the setup looks like. Just that when I'm filming in this bathroom because we got this big old window here to give us some natural light. So wherever I can, I like to use as much natural light as possible. So that's it, it's just my camera right here. I guess I'll set you guys down at the side. I'm pausing for thumbnails if you're wondering what's going on. Yeah. 
Oh, hey guys, I forgot you were still here. Look at these popping girls, look at these popping girls. So that's basically it for my behind the scenes of creating my Sephora squad campaign. When y'all see it, make sure y'all give me all the love. I'm so hyped, do you see these girls? If you have any more questions for me on this, you can go ahead and comment them below. Wow. I still wanna go ahead and show you guys kind of what the ending of my day looks like. So. That really is more kind of dedicated towards Hershey. And before we go on another walk and after her walk too, I really just like to play with her, give her a little bit of attention because I've been working all day and she's just kind of chilling on the floor all day, being a good baby. Yeah, yeah. Mama's finished work. She's a very high energy dog, but she has matured a lot and she's a really good girl. So when I'm working throughout the day, she just chills, waits for her mama to finish, and now that I can give her some attention. Oh, are you just eating your food? Oh, she's finally eating. <laughs> yeah, that's basically my evening. It just kind of playing around with little Miss Hirsch. We are about to go ahead and do her second walkies for the evening. Nothing interesting there, just the same as her walkies in the morning. So yeah, that is basically how I end my evenings. Actually, that's a lie because then after all of that, taking a break, then I go sit down in my bed and I work more <laughs> the rest of the night. Usually just content planning or if any ideas pop into my head, then I'll be writing them down in the middle of the night but yeah guys that is basically it for this vlog this is kind of what one day in my life looks like as a dog mom and influencer i hope you found this video fun and useful and entertaining to watch if you did go ahead and give a girl a thumbs up and i will catch you guys in my next video bye